scientists have a doomsday warning for Earth as the solar system could be thrown out of sync by a rogue planet. It might even fling our planet out into the depths of interstellar space, simulations reveal. The addition to our finely tuned solar system of an extra planet between Mars and Jupiter could destabilize the orbits of the planets in our solar system. It would bring about the end of life on Earth as we know it, of course. This is the conclusion of an experimental simulation undertaken by planetary astrophysicist Professor Stephen Kane of the University of California, Riverside. The materialization of a whole new neighboring world is, uh, un is fortunately unlikely. The findings do have implications of our hunt of uh, life in other solar systems. According to Professor Kane, the purpose of the experiment was to probe two notable gaps in the configuration of our solar system as compared to others. The first is the gap between the sizes of the terrestrial planets, the largest of which is Earth, and then the gas giants, the smallest of which is Neptune. Neptune, however, is four times wider and 17 times more massive than our Earth. In our solar system, there is nothing that lies on the scale between the two, the terrestrial and the gas giants. Professor Kane said, in other solar systems, in other star systems, there are many planets with masses in that gap. We call them super-Earths. The second gap, meanwhile, is in location. Relative to the Sun, there are no planets lying between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Professor Kane says planetary scientists often wish there was something in between those two planets. It seems like wasting real estate. Understanding the reason for both of these gaps, the astrophysicist explained could offer key insights into the architecture of our solar system as well as the evolution of our Earth. And accordingly, Professor Kane ran a series of dynamic computer simulations, adding an extra planet between Mars and Jupiter, and considering a range of different masses for such, and observing what kind of effect it had on the orbits of the other planets in our solar system. The results were overwhelmingly disastrous for the solar system and for life on Earth. Professor Kane explained, this fictional planet gives a nudge to Jupiter that is just enough to destabilize everything else. Jupiter is much larger than all the other planets combined, with a mass of 318 times that of our Earth, meaning that its gravitational influence is profound. Accordingly, even the slightest disturbance to Jupiter by the addition of a super-Earth can profoundly affect the orbits of all the other, the other planets in our solar system. In fact, depending on its exact mass and the orbital parameters, its presence could even end up ejecting Mercury, Venus, Earth, Uranus, and Neptune from our solar system. Even if the Earth was not flung out into deep space, the addition of a super-Earth to the solar system would surely change its orbit, making our home at least more in, in, uh, inimical to life, if not totally inhospitable to life. Professor Kane said, despite many astronomers having wished for this extra planet, it's a good thing we don't have it. The only way the, the astrophysicists found for the planet to remain stable for a relatively long duration was to make its mass smaller, at which point a small window for it between Mars and Jupiter opens up. However, even a small change in its orbital path, Professor Kane says, and things would go poorly. Jupiter-like planets are only found in about 10% of all star systems. Nevertheless, their presence could determine whether neighboring Earth-like or super-Earth planets have stable orbits. Professor Kane said that his findings have given him a renewed respect for the delicate order that holds the planets together in the orbits around our Sun. And he says, our solar system is more finely tuned than I appreciated before. It all works like intricate clock gears. Throw more gears into the mix and it all breaks up. The full findings of the study were published in the Planetary Science Journal. And this is on Express UK by Ian Randall. 
Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.